Hi, we're Group A. And welcome to Field Methods! Today we're going to show you how to use a Brennan Tour compass. Here are the different parts of this compass. The leveling bubble used to level the compass. The global needle used to find the magnetic north. Bed or shed used to set degree. Magnifier, making the degree easy to read. If you're looking to find strike and dip, you must find a rock that has two visible surfaces so that you can see the layering in three dimensions. First, you must set your magnetic declination to that of your area. In Kingston, it is 12 degrees west. To do that, you take your two thumbs and you push down on the plastic screen, rotating it so that little red arrow is pointing to 12 degrees to the west side. To take a strike and dip measurement, you must first place your right hand on the rock. Point your fingers in the direction that water would flow down. Stick your thumb out perpendicular to your fingers. The black arrow on the compass must point in the same direction as your thumb. To measure the strike and dip, you must first choose your layer. I'm going to choose this darker layer here. It is helpful when measuring to use a book to extend the plane. Using the right hand rule, align the black arrow with the direction that your thumb was pointing in. Then you must level the plumb bulb and get the bubble in the circle. Now it's time to put the red in the bed. The magnified number in the dial is your strike. Remember, it has to be three digits. To take the dip, you need to set your compass to either 90 or 270 degrees. Okay. Angle your compass like this against your book. What you're looking for here is the little red arrow and the number that it gives off. That is your dip. The dip is a two digit number between zero and 90, representing the angle from the horizontal. Next, we are going to be finding the trend and plunge. Trends and plunges are used to find the dip and orientation of linear structures. Using a pencil can help extend the linear feature. First, line up the black arrow so that it points down the shaft of the pencil. Then, put the bubble in the plumb bob, and then rotate it so that the red is in the shed. This is your trend of lineation. It should be a three-digit number. Similar to taking dip, to take the plunge, set your compass to 90 or 270, and line up the black arrow with your pencil. Read the inside red arrow to find your plunge. Make sure to stay hydrated on your field trip to take the best strike and dips and trend and plunges known to man. See you in the ditch!